Okay, so this is the newest version of the Gate Logic Guidance Computer Missile. Uh, it's got a bunch of improvements which hugely improve accuracy, and it still is kind of useless, but it's pretty cool. So, among those improvements are, uh, well, it's not really an improvement. It, the actual missile system itself doesn't use any E2s. It's the whole guidance system is all gates. The only E2s you'll see here are super basic stuff for the launch checklist, just to make sure everything is good to go. Um, it now uses two gyros. One adjusts for the roll of the missile, so these thrusters are bi-directional, so depending on if they receive a one or a negative one, they'll fire in either direction to flip the missile. Um, we've gotten rid of the fine adjustment, and we just have a set of four on the front, a set of four on the back, because what we have now is a sort of a variable or dynamic, whatever you want to call it, thrust system. And what it does is the computer uh, finds, off, finds out how off it is from the target, and then depending on how off it is, it will put that into a sort of really basic equation that says, okay, so we're not off by that much. We're going to, you know, give it a little bit of force to flip it the right way around or whatever. So the more off it is, the more thrust it gives, and then the, you know, more on target it is, the less thrust it actually needs and that it'll actually use. This is all the roll control stuff. This is all the pitch and yaw stuff, a whole lot more organized. Uh, that's the guidance delay, so after the missile launches, the guidance isn't enabled as soon as the missile launches, it's enabled a short while after. This is the variable thrust for the main engine, which what it does is it fluctuates the main engine power depending on how off the missile it is, because if you have more fo forward momentum it's harder to adjust. So it's a, yeah. I kind of don't want to say advanced because this is like ancient tech. You could probably do this in an E2 in five minutes. But this is still the firing computer stuff. Still got a launch motor, so that will detach a short while after. Uh, it's a whole lot slower, but it's a whole lot more accurate, so who cares? Uh, this new one, well, new system, rather. The old one would adjust to within a degree off of the target. This one will now, well, it's programmed to adjust to within... 0 0.0065 degrees of the target. It In reality, it can't really do that, but it's still a hell of a lot more accurate. Just one more thing I'm going to show you all before I, you know, probably miss that tank over there. Uh, just among other things, it's a whole lot easier to tweak. So all the constant values, I spammed a bunch of them just so you, it's easy to tweak a single value at a time. Everything's neat and labeled and Pretty cool. Might do a more in-depth video on how you too can make your own completely obsolete crappy missile. So we're armed. And then we've got two different turn rates. So that's normal. And then this is fine-tuning for aiming. So, so it's a narrow field of view. Let's hit that T90. Now, the thing is with this guidance system is the missile is not necessarily sighted to the cursor. Well, the crosshair that you're seeing. All the missile knows is that if it is if it is or if it isn't in line with the gyroscope on the launcher. And until I add some sort of drift compensation system or drop compensation, you sort of have to adjust the missile on your own if it ends up drifting off a little bit. So, I'm just going to shut up and fire this and hopefully hit this. Alright, that looked like a hit. Not that it matters because it's a fucking nuclear warhead, but... Got a little launch motor. Yeah, I don't see much left. So. Not. Fuck. It worked. <laughs> 